Hey everybody, Jeff here with Martin Survival. So today I'm going to show you a quick navigation tip called the shadow stick method. Now this was used in early primitive culture and it's still used today by lost hikers and adventurers who end up getting lost in the wilderness and find themselves in a survival situation. This method will help you find north, east, south and west. Stay with me and let me show you how to do this. Now in order for this method to work, you're going to need a few natural materials. You're going to need one stick about three feet long. You're going to need another stick that's about three and a half feet long. Then you're going to need markers. Now you can use branches as seen here. These are just pine branches that I sharpened at the end, or you can use rocks. And the last thing you're going to need is of course the sun. So the first thing I want to do is take the three and a half foot stick and just set it to the side here. And what I've done is I took the three foot stick and just sharpened it at the tip. So it's easier to work it into the soil. And what I want to do is I want to take that sharpened end, put it on the ground. And I want this stick to be straight up and down. I don't want it to be leaning to the left or right back and forth. I want it straight up and I just want to hammer it, in this case I just have a stone here, into the ground so it's nice and tight. Just want to check things, make sure it's nice and straight once again. Okay. Now when you do this, you want to make sure it's in a nice open area to where there's no shade. And you also want to make sure the dirt is nice and smooth. And I'll show you why in just a second. So now I have my stick that's straight up and down as you can see here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take one of my pine branches that I went ahead and shaved off. And I always start with the larger pine branch. And I want to take that and I want to follow the shadow that's casting off this, sh this little branch here and I want to mark it at the end. Now what that's going to do is that's going to lay my first marker for navigation. So I'm going to find that and I'm just going to stick that into the ground right at the tip. So as you guys can see the bigger stick casts the larger shadow. And then at the tip, the smaller stick also casts another shadow. And one way to tell that this is aligned is it'll all look like one shadow and it'll be straight in the center. And what I mean by that is a smaller stick's shadow will be straight in the center of the larger stick. Now everybody knows that the sun rises from the east and sets in the west. So what you're going to do is you're going to wait every 10-15 minutes and once the shadow moves, you're going to mark it with another stick. So your first stick, since the sun rises from the east and sets in the west, your first stick is going to be your west point. And then your last stick is of course going to be your east point. So earlier I talked about having a nice flat surface and also being in the open to where there's no shade. And now I'm sure you can see why. And the reason why, well, you want that line to be very straight. And if there's a lot of ripples on the floor, if there's a lot of rocks, 
that's not gonna give you true east and west because that stick's shadow will be shifting. And I say use these little stakes here I carved out of pine for a few different reasons. Well, that's gonna give you a precise shadow casting straight from the larger stick. And that's gonna be able to mark it a little bit more clear and it's also gonna give you precise direction. Also, I can use this for other things as well. I can use it as a toothpick if I have something caught in my tooth. I can use it as even a hunting utensil. If there's a scorpion and I need to pin down its tail, I have a stick here that also has an end to where I can hold that tail down and I can get a nice clear cut. Also, if I have a fire built around me and all those charcoals are still smothering somewhat, I can take this and use it as a writing utensil by smothering it in that charcoal and writing on a piece of wood or a piece of paper, sending rescue which direction I went. So this is very handy and I recommend keeping a few of these inside of your backpack and scouting kit. All right, so that'll be the last one we stake in. We have one, two, three, four, five. That should be good enough. Now this is where the three and a half foot stick comes in. And this, I wanna place directly over it. And this will be west, and over here will be east. Now how accurate is it? Well, let me show you. All right, so we have our compass here. It's the Sunto MC2G, and we're gonna put the dog in its house, and what I mean by the dog in its house, you want the top arrow to meet the bottom arrow. And as you can see, it is a little bit off. It says west is this way and east runs that way, and that's expected. But in reality, the sticks is true west and east because of the shadows it casted. And the reason why this is a little bit off is because of the magnetic air in the magnetic compass. So where is north and south? Well, north and south is about like this. So you'll have north, south, east, and west. So this compass comes very, very close to true north, east, south, and west. It's just a hair off, but that's no big deal. I still recommend carrying at least two inside of your scouting pack as well as a bug out bag. If you're any outdoorsman, whether you're a hiker, a fisherman, or an adventurer, or just going out and practicing wilderness survival, having this very, very important. I have three. I have two of these, and I also have my watch, which is also a compass. But knowing this primitive method on how to find true north, east, south, and west is very, very crucial. And I do recommend going out and getting the dirt time. So if you don't come prepared, your second best option is a stick in the sun. Well, I'm Jeff with Martin Survival. I appreciate you joining me for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, email me, desertsurvival87 at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank <laughs> you.